Hi everyone, today's headlines. Koima traffic police conducts checking on use of illegal LED lights and black films. Zunebeto start road widening work before November 13. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reiterates India's zero tolerance policy on terror from Afghanistan during meeting with NSAs of seven nations in Delhi. Taliban Minister Mutaki in Islamabad for talks as Pakistan hosts meet on Afghanistan. COVID-19 vaccination. Manshuk Mandavia to meet health ministers to review her girl duster campaign today. News in details. Koima Traffic Police conducts checking on use of illegal LED lights and black films. The Koima Traffic Police has ramped up the checking of use of illegal LED lights, black films and sound boosters in vehicles. The Traffic Police personnel have been conducting checks on four-wheelers and two-wheelers frequently, but the use of black films and other such additions have increased during the COVID-19 pandemic period, because of which the exercise has been enhanced, DSP Manam Balim told reporters. Traffic police and DEF Koima personnel are checking vehicles at police headquarters junction here since Monday, he said. Use of black films in vehicles and sound booster silencers of two-wheelers are illegal, he said, and also informed that, as initial measure, the personnel are removing the LED lights and black films fitted on vehicles, while those with sound boosters are seized and released only after changing to normal silencers. The high sound horns are also removed, he said. Zunabato start road widening work before November 13. The Zunabato Town Two Lane Monitoring Committee on Wednesday served an ultimatum to the NHIDCL, Madukon, and contractors to start work for road widening at the Zunabato town area before November 13. In a press release issued on Wednesday, the committee informed that it was formed on April 30, 2021 by the Zunabato-based civil societies to assist and supervise the ongoing two-lane construction at Zunabato town. In a joint meeting held on June 10 earlier this year, it was resolved that the district administration Sumi Hoho Sumi Gazetted Officers Union Zunabato, NHIDCL, Madukon Contractors and ZTTLMC would be the stockholders for remarking for the road widening at the town area. As per the resolution, the stockholders remarked the road and site on June 11 and 12, and the remarking report was officially approved on June 17 in the presence of advisor, school education Katie Sugalu, at the residence of the Deputy Commissioner Zunabato, the committee informed. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reiterates India's zero tolerance policy on terror from Afghanistan during meeting with NSAs of seven nations in Delhi. After a detailed and productive dialogue over the emerging geopolitical situation in Afghanistan, the heads of the National Security Council of seven nations who are in Delhi for the Regional Security Dialogue on Afghanistan, hosted by National Security Advisor Ajit Doval, called on Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi towards evening. Minister Narendra Modi also lauded the high-level representative for their participation in the Delhi Security Dialogue on Afghanistan despite challenges due to COVID-19 pandemic. He emphasized four aspects that countries in the region would need to focus on in the context of Afghanistan. The need for an inclusive government, a zero-tolerance stance about Afghan territory being used by terrorist group, a strategy to counter trafficking of drugs and arms from Afghanistan and addressing the increasingly critical humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. Prime Minister also expressed the hope that the regional security dialogue would work to revive Central Asia's traditions of modernization and progressive culture and counter extremist tendencies, the PMO said. Taliban Minister Mutagi in Islamabad for talks as Pakistan hosts meet on Afghanistan. A delegation led by Taliban's acting foreign minister Amir Khan Mutagi reached Islamabad on Wednesday to hold talks with the Pakistani leader. This is the fifth visit of Afghan officials to Pakistan since the Sunni Pashtun group swept to power in Kabul. The Pakistan Foreign Ministry said that during the three-day visit, the focus will be on bilateral ties with discussion to be held on enhancing trade, cross-border movement, land and aviation link, people-to-people -people contacts, and regional connectivity. Mutaki will also hold talk with Pakistani counterpart Shah Mahmood Qureshi. The visit is taking place as follow-up to Qureshi's visit to Kabul on October 21. It comes at a time when Pakistan is holding the Troka 
plus meeting on Afghanistan with special representative from China, Russia and United States. The meeting is scheduled to be held on Thursday and Motoki is expected to meet the special representative of these nations. COVID-19 Vaccination Manshuk Mandavia to meet health ministers to review Har Gar Dashtak campaign today. Union Health Minister Manshuk Mandavia will on Wednesday virtually meet health ministers of all state and union territories to review the campaign of Har Gar Dashtak to ensure vaccination of all adults who have not got their first dose of COVID-19 vaccine or are overdue for their second dose. Notably, the meeting of the health ministers comes a week after Prime Minister Narendra Modi on November 3 interacted with district magistrates and health officials of over 45 districts across 12 states and union territories where the first dose coverage of COVID vaccine was less than 50%. As per the official figures, around 79.2% of India's adult population has been inoculated with at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine, while more than 37% of around 94 crore adult population has been administered both doses. That's all for now. To get this latest news, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.